for those of you who's waiting for the sliding panel so here it is I already prepared the sample project for you to check and for you to uh, learn something so this one I already created one so hopefully you will enjoy this one sample project so we have the main form and I created another folder panel which I have a panel slider and panel one the panel slider will be the template panel slider so most of the codes that needed for the sliding effects already here and also it has an event uh, closed and shown basically everything is here slider so create the new it's actually a metro user control as you can see here okay so there's a swipe function from where it is swiping from going to the left and swiping out going to the right so this is the template so whenever you want to create another slider so you need to create another version of this so inside the code the main form i just added a one button to show the panel one so here i created a class for that panel one and forward the main the main form as it's pe as it's parent and add uh, and hook uh, functions to the events like for the close and shown and for the swipe by default there's uh, true or false false true is to swipe in and if it's false it will be swipe out okay So by default I just created so whenever you click on the panel it will swipe out. Okay. So this event will be triggered so every time it is shown and closed. So let's try that one. Shown close. Okay. So let's check that why it's why it didn't trigger the show. I didn't call it. So let's call it here. Show. So it should be triggered now. Show. So it's triggered. Let's show it up. So what if we wanted to create another slider? So let's create one. Add new user control, and then let's say panel two. Okay. So we should inherit this panel. This custom control should inherit panel slider and then we need to pass a parameter as a form Ayan na. So we need to put a base because we are basing it on panel slider which require a main form so let's just pass the id so that's all that we need to do and then if we wanted to design add a text box button uh, and, and any controls that we wanted to add on this form we can already design it from here so 
let's try to call this one so for this example let's just hit change the color back color so that uh, you can see the difference let's make it red just got some black color through let's just copy this Execute. Let's show panel one. Close. Panel two. Set. Panel one. Panel two. Okay. So hopefully you will learn something on this one. So I will put the details the code regarding the code on my website so just check on it check on the description on where to find that specific blog post thank you very much for watching